Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my lovely students. I hope you all are fine and doing well preparation for your exam. Now students, in a previous video, we have completed unit number 9 poem, Sing a Song of People. Now today we will do the revision for the lesson around the world of the same unit. Now students, I hope that you started to complete your CW. Whoever still not completed, they can start writing in your CW. The chapters which will come in your exam. So start writing question answers and glossary in your CW. Now we'll see a short summary of this lesson. Then we'll discuss about the question answers. Now around the world. In this lesson, we have seen that here, they have visited many places and they have traveled a very long distance. It's really interesting lesson that here they are doing journey and while doing journey, they are getting many difficulties. So that we will see here. As we have seen that Mr. Felice Frog with his friends went around the world for 80 days. So here it's story the how they travel with the companion Passportoot. They have started their journey from evening. First of all they went to San Francisco, New York. And that city was 3,786 miles away. So, in seven days they reached Pacific to Atlantic Ocean. Now, after they went to California in a full speed of train, they got many mountains, slopes, canyons, everything tunnels bridges now what time what happened when that train near to pass one bridge that time on railway track they got one great brown river and that time they got the hurt a full of three hours to cross the tracks, the herd of buffaloes. So here they got a lot of time to cross that river, to cross that track, because the buffaloes are moving very slowly. So here they got very much difficulty because of this herd of buffaloes. So here. They took a lot of time to cross that line, to cross that track. After crossing that difficulty of herd of buffaloes, then they reached one mountains. And this was the most difficult journey for them. Because suddenly what happened? The train got stopped. Why it stop when they came out from the train and they have seen that time they have seen that the bridge was broken. So everybody shocked and they are worried about the how now they will move for the next journey. They heard that the signalman saying that the train will not move ahead because which breeze broken? Marisane Bow. This is the name of a bridge which is broken. Means this bridge can't take more weight. Because some cables were broken of this bridge. So, that time they decided that if the train will go, the train will move in a full speed, in highest speed. So, it's easy for them to pass the train. This is the opinion of the driver. After the driver has done the same, all the passengers got inside the train and the driver 
used the full speed of the train to cross this bridge. They cross very speedily, so the passengers are feeling that they are just flying. They are in the air, they are floating in the air. They are just imagining this. But what happened? Whenever the train passed after the, the bridge con completely broken, so all the passengers safe in the train. They crossed the Medicine River Bridge. And after this bridge crashed down into the waters. Now they started to move. Now in the next day what happened? They got attacked by some Sioux tribe. Red Indians. They are known as native Red Indians. They are appeared with many guns, rifles, pistols, everything, many revolvers. They want to fight and they want to uh, steal all the things from this passenger. And the conductor from the train started shouting that the train must be stopped. Look at here the picture. The train must be stopped. If the train continue running, so what happened? This shoe tribe people will steal everything and they will kill the passengers too. But if it stop, so what happened? They, they can also defend themselves from these people. So this conductor started shouting and anyhow he reached to the engine and he stopped it. Even one of the passengers also having pistols. So he started to defend other passengers also by it. Now what happened? This engine separated by the other coaches of the train. So, they, the train started to slow down. The Sioux tribe people understood that near the station is also there. So, the soldiers and everybody also listened the voice of the pistols and everything. They understood that this voice is coming from this particular site. So, they also coming this these uh, Shoe tribe people have also seen that they are coming towards them. So one by one they all ran and jumped quickly and moved away. And now after the train completely stopped. So this is the journey of the world around the world. And students was, once again I am telling you that you can open the link of previous videos of this chapter in those videos i have given detail i have given detailed explanation of this chapter so i hope that you can uh, understand easily this is a short summary of this chapter now students will see some question answer related to this chapter now look at here this is the glossary of this chapter so this glossary also you have to learn for the exam. Now look at the question answer. Which tribe of red Indians attacked the travelers? Which type, uh, tribe of red Indians? It's known as Shoe tribe of red Indians. Now here the spelling is completely different. S-I-O-U-X. But it's not Siox. It's known as Shoe. The Shoe tribe of red Indians attacked the travelers. Only you have to write here name in place of which. The shoe, then tribe of red Indians attacked the travelers. So it's easy for you to remember answer. Now look at the sec second one. Which was the highest point of their journey? Which was the highest one? 7,524 feet above the sea level. This is the highest point of their journey. Why did the train stop the first time? The first time why the train stop? Because of the herd of buffaloes. So how it right here? The train stopped. Now look at here. Deed word is used means we have to write our verb in a past form. So the train stopped, double P, E, D, S, T, O, double P, E, D, stopped the first time when a herd of buffaloes began to cross the railway track. 
How many days would it take for the train to reach New York? Now to reach New York, how many days the train has taken? Seven days. So how you will write here? The train would take seven days to reach New York. Yes, I hope students, all the answers are very easy and very short answers. You have to understand the lesson. You can easily able to write the answer. Now look at take the correct answer. The first time the train stopped was because some robbers stopped the train. A herd of buffaloes was passing. The trucks were broken. Now a herd of buffaloes was passing. These situations happened first. And you also asked the first time. Yes. Now, in place of second time is written here. So, what you will write? The trucks were broken. And if here written the third time the train stopped because some robbers stopped the train. Okay. So, these three situations are correct. But you have to remember that when the first time stopped because a herd of buffaloes was passing. Second time the trucks were broken. And third time, some robbers stopped the train. So, these three situations, students, you have to remember. Now, look at the second. Choose the correct answer. The bridge fell with a crash into the river. After the train had passed through, the train was still on the bridge before the train passed over the bridge. They have already passed the bridge. They were safe in the train. So, what will come? First one, after the train has passed through. Now, students, on the next page, at page number 116, you are written, match the following words with their meanings. You can take the help of a dictionary. Now, here, these meanings are also very useful to you because this all meanings uh, were, came in your lesson. So, it will help for you. To understand the lesson too. By explaining in a detailed explanation of your lesson. I have already explained the, all the meanings of this chapter. And I have explained these all meanings too. So here you have to write all the answers, meanings. Halted. Passengers. Defended. Shuddered. Several occasions. Interruption. Entirely. Now, this exercise I hope that you have already completed in your textbook only. This exercise no need to write in your CW. Now, what's the meaning of halted? Stopped. Passengers, people traveling in buses, trains, etc. Defended, protected from attack. Shuddered, trembled or shook violently. Several occasions means many times. Interruption, break the continuity of entirely, completely. Yes, so students complete this exercise in your textbook only and try to understand and try to remember all the meanings of these words. It will help for you to do the unseen passage also. Now, if you have any difficulty related to this, you can write in the comment box. And still, if you have not completed the question answers and exercise in your CW and textbook, so start writing and complete your work and start learning these all things. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.